Hey guys, it's Coley from the Mud Movement, pumped up about Conquer the Gauntlet in Houston this weekend. We'll be there with our cameras, hope to see you there, but I am afraid it's gonna end up like Spartan Houston Sprint a couple of weeks ago. Hey, let me set the scene. Thousands of people show up, they're fit, they've been training with burpees and running and all types of core strength, and then they get on the monkey bars or the rig and they drop in seconds. Why? Because of grip strength. It's an area where I'm lacking and there's a lot of other folks too. So I wanted to reach out to the experts. Matt, can you give me some grip string tips? Sure thing. Hope I can help out. Here's my grip tip. So whenever you're doing pull-ups or dead hangs, instead of just doing regular pull-ups, regular dead hangs, switch your grip around. Always be do doing switch grips or reverse grip or do one arm dead hang wide grip, close grip, I constantly change your grip because when you're going across monkey bars, rigs, your grips are always having to change, you're always having to grab in different ways. So whenever you're doing those dead hangs, switch the grip. Great idea, Matt. We'll work on our hang time, constantly mixing things up. Lonnie Yates, I saw you bust through that rig the other day in Houston. Tell me your secrets, man. Hey, John. Grip strength's a really, really important thing to me. Not only is it really beneficial in all races, but about two months before my first ever race, I got into a car accident and I lost my pinky. Supposedly what they say is you lose about 50% of your grip strength by losing your pinky since it locks out your grip. My main training's a little bit unorthodox with the carrying. We've got a dog food sack. It's got some bricks in it. And I'll carry it like that to improve this, this type of grip strength. I'll take it and I'll carry it like this. Just changes it up, uses a different muscle segment. I introduce you to my pet rock. It's a 65 pound rock and I'll usually carry this about mile up to two miles in various ways just changing it up. Another thing I tend to do is I live on a farm. Wood burning stove, all of that, so I got plenty of firewood around. I'll carry firewood like this and it helps increase your wide grip strength. If you're sitting around watching TV, why not get in a slight bit of something? Get yourself a kettlebell, a dumbbell, hell, a two gallon jug of milk, and just sit there and rotate your hand. This will improve a ton of grip strength, and you don't even have to get off the couch if you're wanting to watch something that night. Really, really good on grip strength. Awesome, thank you Lonnie. I had no idea, missing a pinky, crazy. Okay, one more tip from a pro. Alex, what do you have for me? So one of the things that I would suggest John for grip work would be to go bouldering. There's so many different holes that change up your grip, but I also think it helps your grip endurance, but it's helped me with my obstacle technique as well. And then sometimes at the end of problems, I'll add in a couple pull-ups where my grip is just exhausted, and then I just have to be able to pull up like you would on an obstacle. Um, I also like to play add-on with my friends where we each would add one on to the last person is standing, which is always a good time. Okay, Alex, thank you very much. I just don't know where I'm gonna go bouldering. Wait a minute, I do know a guy. Hey, Coley, I heard you need a spot to boulder. Come hang out with me at Donner Rock Climbing Center in Arlington, Texas. We'll get you set up and we'll get your grip strength right. See you then. And Steven knows a little bit about hang time. If you have Netflix, check out this Ultimate Beastmaster where Steven won episode three and advanced on to the finals. All right, let's think about these great grip tips from some pros. Matt told us to work on our hang time and constantly mix up our grips. Lonnie said whip out that kettlebell and other heavy things. And Alex showed us how we can have some fun with it too by maybe going bouldering. Thank you to those pros. Thank you also to Steven Tucker, who is more of a ninja, but who's gonna be doing some OCR with the mud movement a little bit later this year. Hey, let's think about one more thing. If you say, man, I have good grip strength, but it was wet and muddy. Well, other people are doing it. So maybe we should be practicing with wet and muddy obstacles, right? If you have monkey bars or rings or some type of wall grips or even a rope, cover it with mud, get it wet, imitate the environment where we're felling. I hope you love this video. I hope you also recognize what a collaborative community the OCR world is. Look for more videos from us. Check out themudmovement.com. And if you're at Conquer the Gauntlet in Houston this weekend, we'll see you there.